day two of the World Summit on the Information Society Forum in Geneva, bringing together dignitaries, governments, the private sector and civil society to accelerate delivery of the UN's Sustainable Development Goals. Welcome to this opening segment of the WCC Forum 2022. At the opening ceremony, speakers stress the importance of creating a fair and equitable information and knowledge society, especially at a time of pandemic. Without marvellous efforts made by everybody with the ICT development, uh, then the pandemic came suddenly and we are all blocked at home. But business continued thanks to the ICT connectivities. And we should not really just consider this as uh, granted, particularly when we are facing the situation that the three billion people are not connected yet. The opening ceremony is a chance for stakeholders, including the event's host, the International Telecommunication Union, to set out the priorities for this year's forum. A chance to ask some important questions. How can digital technologies help combat climate change without adding to more energy consumption and, elect and electronic waste? How can we share data as a public good while protecting privacy? How can we improve the participation of the developing countries in the policies guiding the global value change of data and in benefiting from it? The focus of this year's forum is how to harness technology to deliver well-being, resilience and inclusivity, recognising that globally millions of people live in homes without internet access and in places where indigenous languages are under threat. UNESCO believes that the ability of inter internet users to engage online in their own languages must be a key element of meaningful universal connectivity and must be integrated into the momentum to close the digital and knowledge divides. Today saw leaders at the forum make a resounding commitment to put information and communication technology at the heart of global development. Ministers, regulators, heads of UN agencies, experts from academia and civil society, all here with one mission, to harness the power of technology to deliver the UN's Sustainable Development Goals. And it's an opportunity too to forge friendships, share experiences and put some of the many successes of the WISIS method in the spotlight.